The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. Everybody, wherever you go, has heard about Somerville High School, and it's because of him. He's an icon. Without a doubt, he is the most important person that has ever come through some of us. He has a great passion about coaching, and about doing the right thing, and about winning. His life is football. Let's go play good, hard. Coach John McKissick has done something football coaches across the country only dream about. As of 2012, he became the first American football coach in history to win 600 career games. McKissick now holds the record for the most wins by a football coach on any level. And it all started from a love of the game at a very young age. John McKissick was born in Greenwood, South Carolina, September 25th, 1926. Once he learned to walk, it didn't take long for him to discover the game that he would fall in love with. Well, when, when we moved to, to King Street and uh, I was in the uh, fifth grade and when I was in the sixth grade, they had uh, what they call a midget football team. We call them uh, B teams now and JV, but back then they, they, they called it midget football. So uh, that's when I first started playing. I was about the sixth, seventh grade. My dad wanted me to uh, come home and work, and my mom, uh, she would always say, uh, his name was Harry, she said, Harry, leave him alone. If he wants to play sports, let him, let him play sports. After graduating from King Street High School, he went to Clemson, but was quickly drafted into military service. Well, when I graduated from uh, King Street High School, the war was going on. So I graduated from high school on uh, June the 1st, went to Clemson on June the 5th. And uh, back then, you, you didn't get a scholarship on the spot. You had to, you had to work out, so I was working out. But uh, in the heat of the war, and, and, and uh, we were thinking about invading Japan and all, uh, if your name came up at the draft board, you had to go. So I went in the service. And they were looking for paratroopers because in the invasion of Normandy, a lot of the uh, 101st Airborne was, was shot down during the invasion. McKissick served as a paratrooper in the Air Force. On August 6, 1945, the U.S. dropped the atomic bomb on Japan, putting an end to the war. McKissick was sent home and decided to go back to college, this time to Presbyterian College, where he played football, baseball, and wrestled. He graduated with a degree in economics. Coach started his job at Somerville High School in July of 1952, only one month after he said, I do, to the now Mrs. McKissick. So he started out right away very dedicated to winning because he knew if he didn't, he'd probably lose his job. You know, that he wouldn't be around very long. And we just fell in love with Somerville when we came here. It, it was just a little village then. You wouldn't believe how small it was. Dirt streets, and just it was just like a little village. And um, so we just fell in love with it. So he worked hard from day one, and he succeeded from day one. I published two books, and both of them, the title is called The Coach. So I think I was called The Coach. His calling lasted more than 60 years. Coach McKissick has won 10 state championships had seven undefeated seasons, once had a 41-game winning streak, and has been named National High School Football Coach of the Year twice. He's had a long history here, over 60 years, and he's touched the lives of so many young men. The community has grown with him, and they've stayed um, uh, on and been a part of a culture of, that he's helped to provide. He's brought in what is, I think, has made our community not arrogant, but we have been um, confident about being a very first-class community because we've had a first-class football program led by a first-class man. And you put all that together, it spells a winning attitude. 
everything he, he, he's done just for the game of football has, has always been kind of the latest and greatest thing that other people have caught up to. And, uh, you know, just kind of a, a set to standard. He's an icon. Uh, let, let's face it, uh, being here since 1952, winning the ball games that he won, coaching the particular athletes, I mean, it would take me two days to sit down and tell you how many he coached went on to play real good college ball and some went on to play in the pros. I think every player that's ever played for him has something to carry with him in life. And if that's what's important in life, I think you will find out it's made some of them very, very great people. And not whether they are the, the, the guy that goes to the Navy shipyard or, and, and works through there, he's still number one there. And if, if you, li you live with all these things that he's taught you, that's his legacy. So I hope that, uh, that uh, when I'm gone, that they'll say that I've always been fair and uh, tried my best to get the best out of all of them and so they'd be good citizens. John McKissick has created quite the fan base in the town of Somerville, but of all the fans, one stands out above all, missing only four games in over six decades. Coach McKissick happens to have the greatest cheerleader any man could want, that's his wife, Miss McKissick. Joanne McKissick is a first class lady and they're such a wonderful pair of people. They're great role models about what a good marriage should be and how, how you, um, you work as a team and she is his greatest fan. I probably am his number one fan, yeah. <laughs> I admire him for, for what he's accomplished and his dedication and, and his love for the young people. He loves young people. He's had um, all the media attention. He's had, you know, all the, the being in the newspaper and the interviews and getting credit for the wins, but he wants it more for, he wants the kids that he's coaching that are coming through now to enjoy wins and enjoy state championships and you know to enjoy the honors and to see the, the media around and the cameras. And one of the first things he always says is, you know, they ask him, why do you think you've been successful? He's like, well, I've always had good administration, I've had good assistant coaches, and I've had people in the town support me, you know? And so he does realize that, you know, it's never been about him. Every team, the first thing he tells every team, he goes, it's not about you, it's about us. Coach McKissick has been honored by four U.S. presidents and has been mentioned in Pat Conroy's novel, The Prince of Tides, as a maker of dynasties. He also once shook hands with Winston Churchill. As a person, he has dedicated his life, and so has the family, to the sport that we all in Somerville love, football. Coach McKissick holds the national record for the most victories on a football field from any one school. He, in fact, is the winningest coach in the nation. I've never gotten up one morning in my life and dreaded going to work. That's important. <laughs>